All right, everyone, you're back with the lawn engineer. Today, we're gonna to take a engineering deep dive into this mower deck. This is Simplicity's 38 inch side discharge deck that's on my Simplicity region. Um, I've got about 10 hours of cutting on this deck now and I'm very impressed with it and the quality of cut. Now, I believe there's two main areas Simplicity has excelled on this deck. The first one, which I've, I go in depth into in the review of my Simplicity Regent, is how this deck rides on the lawn to follow the terrain and give you a very consistent grass height as it's cutting. So it attaches on the front of the tractor here and it actually rolls on the ground on the, uh, the, the back set of full rollers there to control the height of cut. Instead of being suspended from the belly of the tractor and going wherever the tractor moves, um, this is as good as you can get to follow the ground level, basically. Um, so that's very cool. But that's not the only trick this, track, this uh, mower deck has up its sleeve. Um, before we get into that and quality of cut, actually slicing off that tip of the blade of grass, um, the other thing I've come to appreciate is just the, as the name implies, the simplicity of this deck. Um, as you can see here, not a lot going on. They've incorporated this little motor here um, to adjust this linkage, which drives that back set of rollers up and down to set your height of cut. That has really cleaned this whole thing up. There's no linkage coming to the top that you have to move from above. Um, it's, all, it's all packed in there nice and tight. And what this allows them to do is clean up the top of the top of this mower deck and there's really no big cavities for grass to sit and rot. Um, the, the other, you know, you hit this thing with a leaf blower, it gets very clean. You can see around um, the spindles here, there's not those big catch points that a lot of mowers have. I mean, the worst one probably is up here and I can access that with the blower and get all this out and keep it nice and clean up top. This is how it came out. You know, there's a little piece up here under this back bar, but it's basically a piece of leaf. Um, that's another thing I've, I've really come to appreciate on this deck. It looks simple, um, but I think that's intentional to keep all that junk out of there uh, and keep this, uh, you know, your ability to keep it clean is quite good. The other thing I've mentioned here, we're gonna flip this over and look at the airflow and the, and the blades and how it actually, the working end of this unit, but little touches like this is a stand. So when we flip this deck over, it sits on that stand and protects that little motor unit and the height of cut. I have not seen that. I, I had a, a John Deere that had a gearbox up there. There was nothing protected. When you flip this thing over, it just sat on that gearbox. That's a pretty cool thoughtful design that has not been cost cut to death yet. Um, just that little piece of steel there to keep that thing propped up prop while you can work on it below like this. Now when we actually talk about quality of cut, a lot of things come into it. We already talked about how the Simplicity deck follows the ground and gives a consistent grass height across different terrain and, th and that's what accounts to helping the cut look so good. The other one is when we actually look at the grass blades here and the blade interaction with the grass blade. So originally, man started cutting grass with a real mower, which is much like a pair of scissors here, where you've got the blades on the reel and a bed knife that creates a shear on the grass. And you can see that is very easy. That creates an incredible quality of cut there, just a very nice even cut across the top there. Very low energy. Um, it makes the grass cut look quite good. Now that's a, a very labor intensive, the maintenance on that to keep the gap right on the blades, um, to keep give us that cut on the real mowers. As you know, they don't like rocks and sticks and all the other things. Those are, are pretty much a thing of the past. They're, they're making a little bit of a comeback. 
um, with a low cut trend. But once we invented uh, small gas power engines, people figured out that we can spin a knife really fast in a circle and cut the grass. The challenge with that is, and, and why you can't have that on a push mower, um, we need to spin that blade extremely fast. And, and you can see here, I try to use my knife and cut the grass and I come across it here. This is essentially what I'm trying to do with, with a rotary mower. It's very difficult. Um, so two things help that. One is speed, we call that tip speed. Um, everybody's about the same on that. Commercial mowers are a little bit higher. Um, but really what you need is you need to hold the grass on both sides and you do that with airflow. Um, you can see the grass wants to tip over there as I put the blade across it. So on all rotary mowers, we've got airflow. We've got a suction pulling the grass up. So you're basically holding it on both sides and cutting it that way. And that makes it possible for us to cut this grass. Now you can see even when I do that, It doesn't quite look as good as that uh, scissors action. There's a little bit of a tattered look on there. That's just the nature of a rotary mower. Um, but we need that airflow. We need that suction. And I think this mower deck does that quite well. And they use an interesting method to make it consistent across the whole deck. So we'll take a look at that now. Now that we know why the airflow is so important in creating that suction to keep that grass blade tight while the blade comes around to cut it off, we're going to take a look at this deck and see why, in my opinion, it does a very good job of this. Um, so when we think about airflow in a deck, the only place the air can come in is from the gap between the ground and the deck itself. So you've got air coming in here. And the blades are spinning around and they've got that profile on them that makes them act like as a fan. So not only do they have the leading edge that's sharp to cut the grass, their other main function is to move air, basically be a fan. And so, so that air is coming in between our gap here, spilling into here and into the, the volume. So it's coming in all around the deck and then it exits out through our discharge chute here and, and either directly onto the lawn or up into the bagging chute and into the bagger. So all of our air is coming in all around here. The blades are spinning and moving it to the discharge. So we've got a flow of air going generally in this direction. Um, so the first thing you notice on this deck is this blade is smaller than this blade. This 38 inch deck has been around a long time in this configuration and the reason I think it is because it doesn't need to change, it cuts so well. And part of the reason that is, they balance the airflow on this. So if we think about the air coming in on this side of the deck by this smaller blade, this volume of air gets turned around here and, and directed to this blade area over here. So this blade not only has to take the volume of air that it's pulling in from that gap between the deck and the ground, but also all of the airflow that this blade is generating. And so in this way of having this blade smaller and this chamber slightly bigger, it allows this chamber to absorb some of this airflow um, from the secondary blade over here to the discharge plate. And that balances all of this out. So um, now we have to throw in the actual grass. So this blade is over here cutting grass, mixing it with that air. It has to move that volume in this direction or pass it over to this bigger blade. So when these blades are the same size, you are basically doubling the grass volume in this chamber because you're getting the grass volume that this blade is generating plus this one and you can overwhelm this blade. By having this smaller blade on this end, you're making life easier on this main blade. 
Now, if we take this a step further and even the wider decks, you've got three blades. And I think an ideal situation, you'd have a small, medium, and large blade. I think the reason they don't do that is it's not cost effective. Then you need three different blade sizes. Your deck is a funny shape because you, your, your volume, your uh, chambers here need to be three different sizes. People are going to put the wrong blades in the wrong position. It's just too complicated. Um, engineering wise it's the correct solution but in practice they don't do it this deck is unique I hope it sticks around for a long time yet to begin because it cuts so dang well I've had 48 inch three blade decks and if you get into heavy stuff you start getting a uneven ragged cut um, you know between the blades here you know you've got some overlap but you get some missed grass and I think all of that is caused by You've got one blade, two blade of the same size passing that grass over this way and this blade just gets overwhelmed. So this is pretty cool. Um, when I bought it, I kind of knew about it, but as I was cutting with it and uh, looking at the design here, I come to appreciate it even more. And, and uh, part of the reason why um, these smaller decks do such a great job. Another thing to note, we can talk about, um, I'm thinking about doing a video on this of side discharge, mulching, bagging, you know, and what the benefits of are. And to be honest, I've never been a fan of mulching. I've tried it. I want to like it. I like the idea behind it, but it just leaves a ragged cut. And if we think about the reason why that is, we're basically blocking off the discharge chute here, eliminating airflow. So what's happening is you're, you're generating this airflow and you, you basically start blowing out of the deck and, and pushing air out here instead of sucking it in and keeping that grass tight while we cut. So that, that's one of the main reasons that um, mulching just does not provide a great quality of cut. Now we know why this 38 inch deck on the Simplicity cuts so well. If you like this sort of thing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. That'd be cool, motivate me to do some more of this talk, but um, hope you learned something today. Appreciate the watch, adios.